The ANC president, Sil Ramaphosa, continues with his party's election campaign. Today, Ramaphosa will also be leading a door-to-door -door campaign in Umlazi. He will be joined by the party's provincial chairperson, Sishle Zeglale, and members of the National Executive Committee and the PEC. Let's bring in our man on the ground, our eyes and ears, Simpiwe Makani, covering the story for us. Uh, you've been so covering the president of the ANC from yesterday, Simpiwe. Uh, take us through, and we did see some, some commotion uh, where you were yesterday uh, in KZN. Remind the viewers what happened and what can we expect today. Good morning to you, Blaine, and good morning to the viewers as well at home. Well, perhaps, Blaine, before I get to that incident uh, that uh, happened yesterday, let me just uh, recap and remind our viewers uh, that it's day two of uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa's visits here in the province of uh, KwaZulu Natal. He's visiting the province, Blaine, uh, in his capacity as the president of uh, the ANC. Yesterday, he visited a few areas uh, following uh, Kwamakuta as well as Umbumbulu, uh, which is on the south of uh, Durban and uh, he was met uh, in some of those areas playing uh, with uh, one what would say a positive you know uh, reception but uh, that incident that you are referring to happened when he arrived at a following where he was met with a group of angry uh, protesters who had gathered uh, just before his arrival you know to say that uh, they were unhappy about the issue of the ward councillor candidate that was nominated to actually represent the ANC in the upcoming local government elections well the president when he spoke on the podium was very quick to dismiss that to say that uh, people must just come down the ANC is going to be dealing with uh, all those grievances which relate to the nomination process of uh, councillor candidates after though the local government elections on the 1st of November coming to today's program Blaine we are in Umlazi which is the second biggest township in the country and I'm gonna step out of the shots and ask uh, my colleague in Tlantla Faso, just to give you a sense of what is currently happening where we are. You can see that uh, police are now beginning to arrive. The protection uh, units of the president is already here. Uh, also a handful of uh, onlookers and community members camping here uh, in anticipation uh, for the arrival of uh, ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa as he embarks on this door-to-door -door campaign here in the area of uh, Umlazi Plain. The uh, community itself is facing a number of challenges. One of those, of course, is the issue of the high unemployment rate, uh, the issue of substance abuse, and of course, the issue uh, of, uh, you know, uh, people not, be, not being able to, you know, get the services in terms of uh, some of the uh, sections within the community not having, you know, adequate uh, water as well as uh, uh, sanitation plane. Uh, but the president will be here shortly. He is already in the area of Umlazo, where he's currently, you know, meeting with the provincial leadership as well as some NEC members who have been deployed in the province of uh, Guazo Natal, uh, in, uh, obviously during this, uh, you know, visit of uh, the ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa, he is going to be making his way here, where he's going to embark on a door-to-door -door campaign uh, in, in an effort, obviously, to woo voters, to encourage them to go out in their numbers and vote for the African National Congress, as he has been doing throughout the country. And in fact, yesterday, Blaine, uh, he was saying there to residents in the areas that he visited that uh, even if they are unhappy about certain things, but uh, staying at home and abstaining and not, you know, uh, exercising their constitutional right is not really going to solve uh, any problem. In terms of the crowd from where we are, I'm going to step out of the shots once more uh, just to give our viewers a sense uh, of what is currently happening. Not so many people have gathered here playing it's just a group of onlookers and children as you can see there uh, in your visuals uh, that are, are, are already here uh, but uh, obviously the expectation is not uh, we're not expecting a huge crowd to gather because the, the program is designed in such a way that the president will go and uh, interact with uh, a few uh, residents of uh, this uh, community uh, of umlazi plain uh Simpiwe, with regards to, you know, you raised a very important point about getting out there and, and voting, uh, exercising the franchise, as I say. Um, and, you know, sometimes when we go from province to province, you pick up that certain people are disillusioned. Uh, there's an aspect of disillusionment. Uh, voter apathy often creeps up. But from your coverage over the past couple of weeks, I mean, you've been traversing the province for years now, but, uh, you know, in particular over the last couple of weeks. Uh, what are you picking up? Are people eager to get out there and make their mark?
Lane, of course, you get, you get those people who say that uh, despite the problems that they are facing at their local uh, level, they will still go out in their numbers to go and exercise uh, their constitutional rights on the 1st of November. But there's also that group, uh, Lane, that you are speaking about that says that uh, for the past 27 years, I have not seen any uh, improvement in my community. So uh, there is no need for me to exercise uh, the, the, that right to vote on the 1st of November. And uh, uh, specifically playing uh, on the issues of service delivery which uh, touch the issue of water as well as electricity i mean uh, uh, just this week uh, blaine we were uh, uh, earlier this week rather we were in the area of uh, mkanyagote district where the residents there were very very clear to say that they will not be voting this time around because they've been you know raising the issue of not having clean water for years and the infighting that is uh, 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 happening at their uh, district municipality is making it difficult for the municipality to even function in terms of uh, executing the mandate uh, that the municipality should be executing uh, in trying to you know resolve the issues uh, facing uh, the, the that particular community so you do get uh, a plain mixed reactions in terms of what people think on the ground uh, but uh, i suppose that we will have to wait and see uh, what will happen on the 1st of november to see to see if the uh, those uh, people will be you know uh, sticking to their guns in terms of not voting and to see if uh, how many people indeed do turn out for the polls on the 1st of november plane brother makani always instructive thank you very much indeed sir we will come back to you a little later on to be with makani live for us in kwazuntal umlazi to be precise